Welcome back to the Call of Duty Championship presented by Xbox. I'm Wiz alongside Benson. Hey, bud. Hi. What's up, man? Yeah. We're just casting some matches together, yeah. uniting the ocean here. Europe and North America collide at the casting station. And in the boom. And, 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 and in there. As well, Very so. appropriate. Looks like somebody knows what they're doing here. Huh? Yeah, you, yeah. This guy. This guy. Epsilon and Envy. Envy had an amazing run against TK. Yep. Uh, they went all the way to game five, knocked TK out. However, it's not looking good for him here against Epsilon. It's, yeah, it's proving to be a bit, a bit of a harder game, I think. Epsilon 2 0 up. Yes. Next game, Blitz Warhawk. Now, if there's ever a game type that you can turn a series on its head, we know it's Blitz. Especially against the Europeans. I think it's fair to say that Europeans are not as so, strong as Blitz players as North Americans. I would, Is that fair? I would agree with that simply because... I feel like I'm going to get yelled at for that, but I do believe that. No, no, no. That. It, it is, it's, I would say it's true simply because of the, the thing that we were talking about just before that commercial. Yeah. When do you shoot? When do you let someone go? It oh. seems the Americans are very, very good. I thought good. it was the punch of the shark thing. Not that. That's, oh. That was the other thing we were talking about. Well, I mean, that, we could that, incorporate we could that, too. about that as well. I mean, Maybe they, they, are, they are figuratively punching the shark right now, aren't they? They, they actually yeah. are. Good use. Yeah. I like it. Very I good. do my best. <laughs> I'm going to give you shivers one more time. Nerd shivers before Nerd it's all said and done. I'll think of something real powerful to say. Real good. Here in game three. All right. Well, I expect something uh, real. Now, 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 you've, now you've set the bar. I know. I know. I messed you up. Done that. You I, just, done I don't got anything. Let's go. If you're an Envy fan, you're nervous right now. But look. Teams have come back from being down 2-0 many times in the history yep. of Call of Duty Esports. And now all eyes are going to be on the boys in blue to see if they can do it here. Europe up late right now watching Epsilon to oh, yeah. see if the Darlings can get put into the top eight in the money. Swanee was there last year. He wants it again. Let's find out how it's all going to go down here on Blitz Warhawk. I want to kick things off with Team Envious. It's going to be nameless on your screen. He's a player we haven't really talked too much about, but he's a player which can explode at any moment. He's already managed to pick up that one kill. He needs to be careful. Running out of ammo there. Two players go down. Rambo needs to clean up one kill. And you see him, he's just anticipating there to be more Epsilon players. And then finally gets that call from his teammate. It's all clear. And he can start that push down the right-hand side. Four minutes Ooh. and 28 seconds, 30 seconds in. No caps. But I'll tell you what, Rambo, he's certainly been doing well. Three consecutive kills here. Make it four <laughs> as Rambo. Never really not someone you would consider a power slayer by any capacity is showing up right now in the kickoff of this Blitz Warhawk map. Now this is what he needs though. He needs to utilize that experience and really try and amp up his teammates. You know, Nameless and Study, those two, well, not necessarily even Nameless, but if you can get those two players hyped, they bounce off one another. The great comparison is Scumpy and Clayster from Optic Gaming. They're very, very similar in, in terms of the, the energy required. As soon as they get very vocal and pumped up, that's when they're going to play their best as kills going down. Nameless nearly trying to make a, a sneaky play there. Looking at Merc, just trying to pick up a couple of kills on the defensive side. Picks up the assist though. Nicely done and so far, pretty uh, even game for us. Yeah, no doubt about that. Both these teams going back and forth. Really though, Rambo, the one slaying well for his team here. He's 5-1. and one. You've got Merc trying to play defense. Good pickup, taking out Jared. And now they're going to try to get some map positioning as they push out here. I'm looking at Swanee here from Team Epsilon. He's got himself into a favorable position, but Study just kind of, well, destroyed his face. So that, that's pretty awkward. Everyone else from Epsilon, Bar Tommy, you see that? That's, that's one of those situations for us. He went for that kill. You know, some American players may have just left that and tried to sneak around the outside. And it's those situations which really are crucial. I just really can't be critical of anything that Tommy's doing right now because of how phenomenal he's been in That's this true. series. You know, I mean, uh, if Tommy feels that it's best to engage somebody, <laughs> that, that Tommy knows best right now in I my know, book. I know, I'm just saying, yeah, the yeah, comparison yeah, yeah, totally, between totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jer just goes in and gets in there as he didn't, right there, situation didn't engage right. and was able to capitalize on it. But look, you know, I like sometimes getting aggressive because uh, there's certain that momentum and, and good rush you get from when you keep, when you stack up kills, you know? Yes, completely agree. So you start getting those, uh, Specialist bonus on your screen. It feels pretty cool. On the wires, Swanee now pushing the right-hand side lane of the map. He's once again in that position, looking at the scoreboard. He's currently four and two, but Tommy once again continuing where he left off in that search and destroy. Eight and two. Have to have a look at his screen. Is he yeah, playing? Dude, the he's unreal, side? man. He's I know. Yeah, I, I told you. He's I, a I'm good putting player. a poster <laughs> up of Tommy in my family room when we get back. Well, I'll yeah. have to check with Justine, yeah, but it she, should be all good, though. She, she might agree. I don't know if she's watching. She might want to post her Tommy up in her bedroom, too, man. I just don't really know what to say to that, so I'm going to continue 
with the uh, with the cast, <laughs> I guess, as uh, Jerd. He's going to be on your screen, pushing that left-hand side. If he looks to the right, there's going to be a player there, but Ooh. he is going to get taken down. And now Envious have the map control to really start the push. Nameless looks up top. Nice there's kill. one. There's going to be a couple more players on that base from Epsilon. They're both just lying down. Oh my gosh, she's wow. out. I was going to say, are you going to no. reload that? Oh, man. Four bullets left. He really had no choice there. I mean, he could have maybe got the kill, but uh, obviously he needed to get a reload and almost was able to get in there. This time, Merc's going to try to make a move in here to tie it up. Tommy look at this taking fight. it out. And Rebel, look. Little See? sneaky, 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 sneaky. And he got it. Hey, he'll take it any way you can. And there are some Envy fans out there. I heard a scream for I, sure. I heard a very high-pitched scream. Yes. So I'm hoping that wasn't a male because yeah. that would be very <laughs> it, it might have been. Who knows? Jerk getting the knife kill on Merc. He's going to try to run in there. Smokes out. Going to go for the slide. Oop, awkward, but still got it. Now, that was a trade. Both teams getting the cap, and both teams with someone ready to relay. Sturdy, can he get the kill? That's going to be the big question. He does. So that's going to be a cap over at the other side. Cap for cap. So three to three, and still more players in positions to go for those relays. I'm really looking at Merc now. He's going to try and add another one. He also has support of another teammate. So Envious, they may strike to pull away here as Epsilon. They aren't really in a position to go cap for cap. And on board. Oh, oh my Never gosh. Mind. Grab study, gets the knife and the cap. Four to four here. Epsilon versus Envy. Oh my god. Envy putting up a hard fight. Swanee with that AR. You got to watch out. And now that the time has reset, he just gets taken out by Nameless as he had a chance to get another cap. Epsilon is going to get one in to take the lead. 21 seconds left on the clock. Flux in a position to add one more cap oh, for his play. squad. One second left on the counter. And now let's see if he just this runs in so and tries smart. to grab it. Somebody on Envy is prone down on the flag, but he's going to oh, wait. Oh, this is genius. This is so clever. Really wait it out. Get the kill and get the slide as well. Oh, no, no, not going to happen. Sturdy comes out clutch and Envy. Turn. They... Oh, oh, my God, with one. Second left, Epsilon sneaking it right at the very... Look how cool he's like, yeah, I just did that. Fist like, get, bump. get your fist bumps out of here, bros. <laughs> I'm, I'm out here capping flags. And what's on that your boy Jerd right now? Your boy Jerd. Yeah, I, just, I can't believe it. He's like, We're, no, we are taking a one-point lead in this second half. <laughs> Six to five at the half. And... If I'm an Envy fan, I'm getting real nervous right about That's now. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm it's, saying. It's five minutes. Look, because I, I still, no matter what, Envy's been around forever. I, like, I, There's no doubt in my mind, as a fan, I love this organization. Oh, you know, they've been a top team since, especially Call of Duty 4. Uh, so I'm even a little nervous for it. But, you know, I, I want to see Europe come out here and succeed just as much as anybody else does. So uh, I'm very conflicted on this match, no doubt about it. Nameless, four team Envious has got himself into a fantastic position. This is going to level things up. But now, there it is. can nice cap. Epsilon reply? They have Flux right at the back of the Envy base. He's going to have a player in front of him. Merc just destroyed him. Swanee is in a position to try and slay that right hand side lane. Potentially go for some spawn kills. But no, Rambo stepping up to the next plate. Some fantastic shots coming from him. And it seems like everything now just leveling out. But actually, Envy being very, very aggressive now for us. All right, as we're on with study here, four minutes and 11 seconds left in this game. Potentially could have Envy's fate decided here, as now Study's going to try to make some moves and get in there. But a lot of Epsilon players back there on defense. It is tied up 6-6, six six, but Rambo's going to go in against the cap. Nice play by Rambo and Benson. Good job driving, too, man. You know, uh, thanks. Way to pick I, it up, man. I, thanks. I, I do what I can. I saw Rambo making a sneaky play. Study acting as the distraction, and Envious now sneaking. 1-0 in the lead. Looking at Tommy as he just destroys Sturdy mid-map. That's two kills. He has that whole right-hand side lane completely free. Meanwhile, his teammates fighting at the opposite side of the map. Tommy could just pretty much sprint down this right-hand side lane. But one player from Envious is sneaking through. That's Merc. He's highlighted on your screen. I think someone from Epsilon did realize. But you got Jerd there as well. Oh. So this is going to be a oh, trade, surely. Oh, 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 I didn't even see. Or not. That was Nea, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that was Nameless right there. I didn't even see him. And oh, we had the Oracle up. And then Flux throws a nade in there. Swanee picks up a two-piece, and Epsilon gets the score. However, MB is in the lead, 8-7. to seven. They haven't really enjoyed much of a lead at all during this series. It's been so t it's tied back and forth. Epsilon maybe up one point here and there. So Envy trying to keep that going with 2 minutes and 58 seconds left on the clock. Tommy trying to be aggressive. Rambo playing some good base defense. There's still one more player. It's going to be Jerd. What can he do? Can he pick up some plays? No, Study's going to clean him up. And one player from Envy sneaking around the outside. This time it's going to be Merc. He's going to be completely open on that left-hand side. There's going to be one defender, and it's actually Jerd. So I think Jerd may be expecting this. 
but is he going to be able to get the kill quick enough? That's the question. He sees him, waits, and picks up Merc relatively easily. Still, two and a half minutes remaining for his eight to seven in favor of Envious. They are desperately clinging on to survive here at the Call of Duty World Championship. Yeah, time is dwindling down, but they do still have that one point lead. Obviously, they're very conscious of making sure that they can maintain that. Merc in a gunfight here is going to get taken out by Swanee with an AR versus an SMG. Close combat. Merc wishing he could have that one back on board with Rambo just hanging out here to make sure nobody pushes on this side. Someone comes up out of nowhere and he's able to take out Flux and Swanee very close to getting another cap here. <laughs> runs out of ammo, misses his shots and good stop by Envy. Tommy meanwhile being aggressive, has the support of a teammate. This could be the equalizing cap. He's gonna go down. Jerd goes down as well, just millimeters away. And the cap does go down. That was in favor of Team Envious. Whilst all the, the aggression was in their base, someone snuck through. Fantastic stuff coming from Envy, just trying to extend that lead. It's now at two. Uh, Swanee with a, a, a rare lack of accuracy, but another play from Team Envy is going to sneak through. So that's going to be a three-point lead now, yeah. going to the last minute and a half. That's, that's a little bit more of a healthier lead right now. The one point uh, made you nervous, but now right. that Envy's got three points with a minute and 26 seconds left, they can just lock down some D, make sure they win their gunfights here for the last 60-plus seconds. They'll be good to go. Nameless on your screens has Merc to the right-hand side. He's going to have to pick up another couple of kills here, though. How quickly can Epsilon defend their base and get out? You see two players trying to break away, but another cap goes in. That's going to extend it to four. Swanee, he's going to need to cap it now. Realistically, to give Epsilon any chance, he goes down as well, though, and it's not looking good now for Epsilon towards the end of this game, boys. And, you know, I would... This is, we talk about North America just kind of being a little bit more sound fundamentally when it comes to Blitz. Uh, Envy here capitalizing late in the game. They Both these teams tied for a majority of the amount of minutes, minutes here. Or talking about a plus or minus one point cap here. But Envy just kind of running away with it the last two minutes here. Uh, they were only at a one point lead at eight caps before, but they've just tallied them up here. Definitely have it in the bag, and this one's going to go on to a game number four. Oh, 100% now. And we said, how often is Blitz? Is that Victrix out there? It may well be, but I how have, often? It has to be. <laughs> I'm hoping so, because it's very high be. pitch. Yeah. How often is Blitz Mrs. that game-changing map? It can flip oh, no, a totally. series on its head. It has so many times, bro. It's That's not, the thing. Dude. That's the thing. That's why these people it. need to play it, because you can close <laughs> it out on Blitz, you know? Nobody scrims it because it's only one mode, but right. it can also be a 3-0, put the nail in the coffin. You could be sending home Envy right now. Instead, you're going to let it go to a domination, and who knows how this pans out now. Yeah, it's going to come down to what maps have been vetoed and haven't. Obviously, it was Epsilon that kicked things off winning that domination, but it's just a belief that winning that Blitz can give teams. Like, you, you look at that scoreboard, Study still not really performing at his best, 13 and 22, but Rambo, 20 and 14. You've got Nameless and Merc as well, 18 kills apiece, four caps, three caps, three caps. Those guys, sensational performance, just what they needed. I think Epsilon probably knew that they weren't going to pull their Blitz game out too. I, mean, I, I, I do. I think they kind of knew that, not that they, did, they didn't want to win it by any means, but they know that that's not their, their stronger suit when they are Big such a the, the, the town. Yeah, something's going on over there. I think uh, they just said her name. That's why. Oh, yeah, it must be sense. it. I'm, a, you know, I'm yeah. assuming, right? Um, so we've got game number four coming up. Series now two to one. Envy, that was a must win because they would have really been was. they would have been packing their bags going home. And again, guys, this is for the top eight. It's for the top eight. That's it's for the money. money, money, money. And the loser is out as loser, well. This is loser's, loser's bracket. Loser. This isn't this isn't the upper bracket. It's no money. What was that? That was me lighting money on fire. Oh. It's good, right? Oh, I'll work on it. I'll work on it. I right. these little tricks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I'll like... teach you all of them by the time it's all said and done, man. I'll teach you all of them. <sighs> so let's uh I think um I think this is going to be a pretty good series here, man. I, 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 I think it's, it's, it's panning out to be just that, man, right? But let's go to a quick break here. We've got a video about the road to the finals, Ooh. a pretty good storyline there, no doubt. Let's check it out.